Guadalupe, I'm an economics professor at INSEAD and the academic director of the Randomized Controlled Trials Lab. And I'm here with Guido Friebel, who's a professor of human resources at Goethe University Frankfurt, and has been working with firms for a while, running experiments. Welcome, Guido. Hello. Could you tell us why you think a firm is a long-term lab and why should firms be running experiments? It's a win-win for researchers to work with firms. Doing experiments in firms is the very essence of scientific management. It allows us to provide firms and the research community with evidence that we can base decisions on, that we can use in our teaching, and that we can use for research papers. There's currently a big push for big data. Can you tell us a bit about what's different from, use it from using big data and experimenting within firms? I think the logic is quite similar to the extent that we try to base decisions on evidence rather than on intuitions. However, big data are not necessarily available for most of the companies. Big data are available for big data companies like Google or Amazon. Many small firms actually don't have big data. However, they have a plethora of data in-house. Top managers often don't have the time to do proper data analysis and sometimes they may also not have the right human resources to do these analyses, to run regressions or um, perform in-depth data analysis. I think this is where we as researchers come in. Can you give us an example from your research uh, of a situation where you found something working with a firm that uh, the firm and maybe yourself were su surprised by? Did um, a very long-term intervention with a big retail firm um, that suffered from very high worker turnover rates. There was a very strong correlation between bad performance and high worker turnover. So we intervened in this firm in a randomized controlled way and found out that by um, making middle managers uh, more responsible for worker turnover, actually we got a pretty large decrease in worker turnover. We also expected, given the historical data analysis, that this should lead to an increase in performance, i.e. sales, but that was not the case. We were very surprised to see that first and when we started digging into the reasons why that was the case, we find out that our store managers in this retail structure had actually shifted a substantial amount of their total work time away from dealing with customers and goods to dealing with people. And consequently, the benefits of having happier people who are more motivated and are not running away from the company was unfortunately cancelled out by the costs of managers spending less time on other things than HR. I think this is a great example for how companies can cooperate with researchers, um, which is something that we're trying to do at, at INSEAD. And managers may feel that this is somewhat risky, uh, that it may be scary to think about experimenting uh, within the firm. Um, from your experience, what does it take for firms to be successful and what, what, what mindset should firms have before you know, approaching one of us uh, to try and work on something like this? You um, should not think that you're taking a very large risk to start with. I mean, there's something like escalating commitment between managers and researchers. You do not meet and then write down an experiment and then carry it out. You will try to understand how each other works, what the objectives of both parties are, and then you would need to develop an atmosphere of trust. But it is very important from the side of the firm to have a performance culture and a culture of transparency rather than a bureaucratic culture. Um, according to my experience, in particular big firms, even if you have the support of decision makers pretty high up in the hierarchy, very often you run into obstacles because somebody somewhere in the organization feels himself or herself threatened. And it's very important that if you do an experiment, it should be the very top management of the company that says, this is something we want to do. It's a great chance for, for firms not to waste money on policies that may have worked in another firm, but are not right for their firm. Well, thanks Guido so much for sharing your knowledge and being here today with us. Thank you.